Hey guys, Megan here. So I said today I was going to do a video about when to tell your boss that you have a heart condition. As a lot of you know that I have moved recently and I've been doing interviews like crazy um, for these past two weeks. And I've fought with myself about when I tell these people who don't even know me that I have this heart condition. And you know, it's, it's a tough thing because even before we moved, I had people, I had interviews before we moved and I even told this one lady, I said, hey, I can't come up today for an interview because I have a cath tomorrow or whatever. And the next day I get a call from her and she says, oh, never mind, we found somebody else. Okay, I'm sure that had nothing to do with the fact that I said I had a heart condition. So, it sucks a lot that people react poorly to that. So I've had good and bad experiences with that. I've had people who just ask a bunch of questions, which is fine by me. Um, I'd rather them ask questions so they know me more, I guess. But then the people who just ignore it and then write me off that I'm some problem is not okay with me. Um, so I had quite a few interviews and I decided to not tell any of them yet. I decided to wait because I don't want someone to judge me before they even know me or know my qualifications. Um, so I have had all these interviews, I haven't told anybody. Um, so I'm going to be telling them once, you know, I get the job, obviously, which I did get a job, so that's a plus. Um, I start Monday, so that's exciting. Um, I'm gonna be a toddler teacher again, which I missed that, so I'm excited. Um, so that's gonna be starting Monday, and I will definitely update you guys all on after I tell her. It's funny, because the boss who I'm gonna be working with, her name is also Megan, spelled the exact same way. So I thought that was cool. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh, that um, I feel like if you don't, sorry, it's like storming. So the tree outside my window is like looking like it's about to fall over. Anyway, <laughs> if I feel like you would need to tell your boss because let's say something happens that you have no control over, you lose your speaking ability or stroke or something, how are they gonna know that you have something else going on? That's my biggest fear. I've worked in places that don't have AEDs. I've worked in places that are rude to their employees when someone is hurting and it drives me insane. Um, that's particularly why I left one job um, and went back to an old job because the people, the bosses, treated their employees like crap. And I was not okay with it. I thought that if something were to happen to me, no one would care at that job. And I was not okay with that. So I went back to a job that I knew would care about me. So. Basically, I'm saying is that you don't need to tell them at the interview um, because I've had negative problems with that and people don't call you back. So that's always fun. Um, I'm sorry, my dog's wanting to play. And so when I start this job on Monday, I am going to tell her that day because she needs to know that if something were to happen to me where I cannot speak or tell her what's happening, she needs to be able to tell them for me that I have this heart condition and I need to go to a children's hospital, you know, and not a regular ER because you know how funny ERs are. So if you guys have any questions about work or when to tell your boss, post them below. Um, I just really think you need to tell your boss and you don't have to tell all your coworkers, that's up to you, but someone needs to know that can help if something does happen to you. Um, Cause it's scary. Right. <laughs> Stop. Oh 
My dog. You're on. You're on the camera. Anyway, so I think that your boss needs to tell. Same as a heart mom. I'm never sure when to tell boss. True. I never even thought of that. What do heart parents tell their bosses? Because if your kid is hurt or sick or in the hospital, are they going to be okay with you leaving for a while? And I've had that problem also with my husband's boss. Um, before, when I had my heart cath, you know, he's like, yeah, sure, you can take off work. So he did. And then when I had my second heart cath, um... Then he was like, really, another one? And like, my husband got yelled at, and I'm like, yo, no, I'm not cool with that. He's trying to be there for me. He's missing one day of work. Relax. Thank you. Um, my fluid retention is still there, unfortunately. Um, not as bad, thank goodness. But it's still there. Um, just started the new medication yesterday. So I'm hoping it all works out. Um, it has made me go to the bathroom a lot more. That's for sure. <laughs> um, so it's definitely working, I want to say. Um, so I'm glad that that's working. Uh, you were let go because of it. Oh, that's a fear of mine as well. Um, I was so honored on where I worked before in Tampa that my boss loved me and was okay with the fact that I was missing so much days of work. She, for my second cat, she, I told her I was going to come back two days later. So I took two days off of work and I was going to come back. I came back that second day after and she told me to go home. She was like, no, 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 you need more rest. And I was like, no, 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 I'm okay. Even really, I wasn't okay. I wasn't ready to go back to work. But I was ready. Like, mentally, I wanted to go back to work. But my body was like, no. And she let me take the rest of the week off. Like, that's an awesome boss. And I'm sad that I'm not going to find that again. I really hope this new place is like that. Um, because she was amazing. She was one of the best bosses I've ever had in my life. Um... Especially with all this fluid stuff and like random stupid stuff happening, you know, that you never know is going to happen with your heart. You need to find a boss that understands. They don't have to understand your heart condition, but they need to understand that you might not be there every day. You might have an appointment. For example, I have another um, appointment in St. Pete in October. So I have to be able to tell this new boss that, hey, yeah, I have an appointment. It's not till 1230, but I have a two-hour drive ahead of me. So, you know, I can't come right back to work afterwards. So I hope that she's going to be okay with that. And I will definitely give you guys an update on Monday after I tell her. Um, but, yeah, working can be different, you know, for everybody. And whether you're open to telling people you work with or not, I think at least one person. Ooh. Sorry, that was thunder. <laughs> Scared me. I think at least one person needs to know that you have this heart condition. Because, God forbid, something that happens and you can't speak, you know, you can't tell people that this is happening, someone needs to know. Awesome, you need more people like that in your workforce. Yes, you do. My boss can be a little bit annoying. Because he micromanages. It's great. That's awesome. I'm so glad. It's hard to find a good boss. And like I said, I've gone to interviews and I've told people before right away. And then they're like, okay, never mind. Bye. Like I'm some burden or something. Which really drives me nuts. Um, and I hate that. So, like before we moved, we knew we were moving up here. But I was still trying to find a job. And when I told this person that I had a heart cath coming up and I can't come up, you know, to shadow that day. The very next day, at my heart cath, I get a call. Thank God I went to voicemail or else I would have been pissed. But she called me and said, oh, you know, we're, we're looking for someone else. Come on. I'm not stupid. I know it's because I told you I had a heart cath. 
Like, you didn't even ask me any questions. I would rather somebody ask me questions to understand what's going on versus just flat out saying no. Because that's just rude. Sorry, it's really storming. <laughs> My dog's freaking out. Anyway, <laughs> does anybody have any questions, comments about working, telling your boss, any of that fun stuff? Nothing. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, I don't have, I have a long weekend since I guess I don't work tomorrow. But anyway, I start work on Monday. I will let you all know how it goes. Um, I'm super excited. Um, this, you get a vibe from a new place that you know it's going to be a good place. Um, so I'm really excited. And I will let you all know how it goes. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.